Well, hello, Cedarville leaders. Jamie Shank here with your weekend update for Thanksgiving weekend, November 26th and 27th. As you can see, I'm feeling a little, a little hipster, and I don't know, it's kind of fun to get out and, and try something new. So here we go. This weekend, um, the bright idea that we are we're focusing on is I am thankful. I think it's incredibly timely with Thanksgiving, and um, you know, here in Northwest Ohio, we have so much to be thankful for. And I love that we're prompting the kids to think, um, to think through that on their own um, this weekend. The story that we are going to be looking over is Jesus healing the 10 lepers. That is found in Luke 17, 11 through 19. I would love it if you would take just a couple moments, read through the story, maybe read some commentaries if you have a study Bible, and really put yourself inside of the story. Try to understand from different viewpoints and really just come mentally prepared for these kiddos and, and what we're talking about this weekend. The memory verse is, we're still in this series, uh, the end is near, so the memory verse has not changed. Um, it is found in Matthew 24, 42. So you too must keep watch, for you don't know what day your Lord is coming. So feel free to uh, go over those motions a couple times, become familiar with them if you have not already, as we are going to ask you to uh, lead the group of the kiddos doing the very same motions. Um, this weekend, in uh, for the game overview, in preschool, we are playing the game called Animal Train. So uh, you're going to have one minute, and the whole group is going to name as many animals as they can. That's the only thing that they're doing. Uh, the only thing about this game is that um, once an animal has been said, can't repeat it. Um, I love listening to them try to um, name as many animals. Something that is a helpful tip in this one is before we start the game, I, I ask them the questions. Think of who lives in a zoo think who lives in a desert think who lives in the ocean in the rainforest that way they're thinking about all kinds of different animals not just like one one um, so that's a helpful tip for that one and then in elementary we have a brand new activity really um, that we're playing this weekend we are doing a Thanksgiving crossword um, so we're gonna give it out to the kids and then we're good we're just gonna be there to assist them not do it for them but assist them whenever they need it um, some kids may totally know how to do this from school and other kids might not know so well so we're just gonna be there um, to assist them in, in, in doing the crossword puzzle um, if they don't finish it there we are encouraging them to take it home and, and work on it as much or as little as they want to. Uh, the weekend wins for this weekend. You know, when we think about Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of these wonderful things that occur in this time of the year, um, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that I think of is family time. You know, you have dinners and parties and all kinds of things, and it's the perfect time of the year to in, invite other people. Um, so, what I would love for us to focus on for our weekend win is connecting with the kids and the parents. We might see an influx of new families. We might have family members coming and checking it out as they're in town for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. So I would love for us, no matter what room you're in, what age group you're working with, um, if we can focus on connecting with as many kids and families as we can, that's how we're going to gain influence. That's how they're going to learn to trust us. And that's when we can partner with them and speak into the pockets where maybe they need some, some encouragement or some truth or something. Um, so for the weekend win, our weekend win is connecting with the kids and with the parents that come with them. Um, something that I love to do personally is I love to ask parents names. Um, it's another way to say, you know, it's really great to say, hey, Heather's mom, how are you? But if we can look at Heather's mom, we're just going to use um, Carly as a name. Hey, Carly, how's life? It just has a little bit more boom to it. Um, so that's our weekend win. And something that goes right along with our weekend win is, you know, we have this guest acronym. Um, and it goes through each letter. So for this weekend, I would love uh, for us to um, look at the families and the kids through the way God's heart is for them how he loves them, how he sees them, how he wants goodness for them. Um, I think that'd be really, really cool. So um, that's our weekend wind. Um, I would love for you guys to join me in prayer and praying for those new families that we just talked about. Uh, whether they're coming back and checking us out from FX or they're coming in for a Christmas service or they're coming with a family from Thanksgiving. Will you join me in praying for the new families that are coming 
and some that are still on the fence about coming. Um, just pray that the invites will land in fertile soil and really um, just pray that they'll come. You know, we all need Jesus as much as the other person. So if we could uh, just prayerfully pray for them, um, that would be fantastic. Excuse me. I tell you guys every single weekend, I have the best team. And I believe this with all of my heart. We have the best team. You guys are, you inspire me each and every single weekend. When, um, when there are moments where I need encouragement, you speak it and we speak it to each other. We are really more of like a family. Um, you know, we are, we have such passion and such attention to detail and such just love for kids and families back there that I just want to say that this weekend, I am so thankful for each and every one of you. I'm thankful for how we are going through this transition and just how we really love each other and we're really a family. Um, so I really do mean it when I say I have the best team and I am just going to thank God so many times for you, for serving alongside of you, for being my friend, for knowing you, for the impacts we're making. Guys, we're literally changing a generation. Well, I will see you this weekend. Have a great Thanksgiving.